Okay, so I'm heading to the grocery store right now. I have my list here. I have my reusable bags. I am ready to do some back to school grocery shopping on a budget. We'll see if this is gonna be a budget or not. We'll see if there's any sales going on. Fingers crossed. It's Nicole from Health Nut Nutrition and today I'm gonna to be doing a huge grocery haul for back to school. You can't see but there's a bunch of food in front of me and I'm starving because I have not had lunch yet and it's what time is it? 3.30. I don't know what I was thinking about doing this haul on an empty stomach um, but I'm gonna share with you guys some food items that I used to pick up when I was in school and also just things new items that have kind of popped up that I think will be really good for back to school season for you know just having good good staples on hand uh, that you can quickly make on the go uh, meals and breakfast and stuff uh, and then also give you guys some uh, budget saving tips because who doesn't want to save a little bit of moolah uh, let's hop right in okay so my first category is like the starches I guess starches and grains uh, so I have some sweet potatoes and potatoes are a great kind of foundation for your meals because they're gonna fill you up and they still have a ton of fiber nutrients and all that good stuff uh, so you know switch it up maybe one week do yellow potatoes another week do sweet potatoes you don't always have to eat the same thing every week next up I have oh I used to eat something like this all the time when I was in college this is by Osery bakery these are called morning rounds and they're kind of like this one here is a muesli blend so it has like grains and fr dried fruit in it and seeds and they're baked into these little uh, pita bun things. I don't know exactly what to call them, but basically you pop them in the toaster, you can put jam on them, you can put butter on them, you could even have an egg on it, uh, avocado, so many different options. Next up, I have rolled oats because there are so many uses to rolled oats. You can make uh, oatmeal, obviously. You can make uh, oatmeal cookies. You could even like ground these up in a food processor or blender and make oat flour, which you can make pancakes. Uh, so I love uh, having oats on hand all the time. So I stocked up on a, a big bag of those because I'm actually out right now. Then also cereal. Okay, who doesn't love cereal? I used to, when I was in school, I used to eat the biggest, I think, what would I use? Oh, a salad bowl of cereal. I'd actually use a salad bowl. It was it was awful, but and it wasn't the healthy cereal. So I've come a long way since then. But nowadays, like healthy cereal is quite expensive. So all you have to do go for it just like the puffs. These are camu puffs. You can also get brown rice puffs. These just happen to be like 50 cents cheaper. And I like these. They're a little bit heartier. And all you have to do is add these to a bowl. Throw in some sunflower seeds, some strawberries and you can throw in uh, whatever milk you have and you have a really delicious cereal uh, that's way healthier for you than the other box stuff and lower in sugar. You can just drizzle some honey, a little cinnamon on there. It's delicious. Okay, so I also have some brown rice. Now compare brands and that's another tip for you guys. Compare brands and turn and like actually read how many uh, grams are in it for the price because you might think one is cheaper but if you actually compare grams versus price sometimes it's not the case this one was by the company Dan dainty dainty it's very dainty so this one here is just whole grain brown rice and basically this was only I think 250 I'll put all the prices for these items but this was like 250 for 900 grams and this other brand that I compared it to was the same amount and it was literally what was it like five times the price it was almost ten dollars it was really expensive uh, so this is the better option for back to school next up I have some of these blue uh, tortilla chips I love blue corn tortilla chips simple ingredients just corn sunflower oil flaxseed salt and a trace of lime I actually didn't know these had lime in them oh my last starch would be popcorn because I've been obsessed with air popped popcorn and if you want to know my recipe leave me a comment down below and I can definitely do like a healthy snacks video for you guys most nights now Matt and I have been making air popped popcorn and it's so much cheaper than buying like the already popped bagged stuff and it's delicious so I have a secret little not secret I just do like the same thing each time some nutritional yeast and some other spices and it's so so good and you know you're controlling the oil since it's air popped and it's way healthier for you this bag I think was like 250 and it lasts forever like this is gonna give us 
like 100 bowls of popcorn. I don't actually know the math, but it's a lot of popcorn. Okay, so those I think are all of our starches. Then we're gonna move into veggies. So for veggies, I have a ton of options. Um, every single week, I always grab some kind of greens because I just think you, greens are like one of the best foods out there for you. People don't need enough of them. Um, so I'm definitely a huge advocate for getting more greens into your diet. So I actually wasn't gonna pick up baby spinach, but it was on sale. So I picked up some organic baby spinach. Another option you can do that's cheaper is buying the bunched uh, spinach, which is usually next to like the lettuce and stuff. It's not baby spinach. It has a little bit of a stronger taste to it, but you can easily put it into smoothies saute it and it's usually about 250 a bunch which isn't bad so this one was like I think a buck 50 off uh, so I picked up a container the next green I have is kale so kale is such a great green to get because it is a hearty green it's really gonna bulk up your food this one here is dinosaur kale and I love shredding this up massaging it with a little olive oil sea salt and uh, lemon juice and it just goes really well into salads you can saute it with like in a veggie stir-fry and this will go a long way because it doesn't break down as much as say spinach and it's just really easy to add into a lot of dishes. The next item I have all the time in my fridge is cucumber. It is a staple in the Health Nut Kitchen and I think it's great for uh, back to school as well because you can put it in your smoothies, you can put it in your salads, you can just slice it up um, and dip it with hummus or some kind of or salsa or whatever you want. I don't know if I've ever had uh, cucumber and salsa, but I'm sure it's delicious. Uh, so that's a great staple. Next I had, I got uh, two, uh, what are these called? Coriferous vegetables? I can never say the word. But these were on sale for two for five. So they, no wait, two for three dollars. They were $1.50 each. So I definitely stocked up. Cauliflower and broccoli are great veggies to add into. You can just roast them or you can add them into pasta. They're just bulky uh, vegetables and they fill you up. So. I love roasted cauliflower too, mm, so good. Uh, my next staple that, actually, I don't know if it's a staple, I don't get it all the time, but I love cherry tomatoes. Matt is not a huge tomato fan. So anyways, I always usually check for the organic ones first and compare the price, because a lot of times it's like the same price or it's maybe 20 or 50 cents more, depending on your budget. Then I have some organic baby carrots. I usually try to get uh, organic for carrots, um, especially since I'm not peeling them. These baby ones already have no skin, so, I just will dip these in hummus. These are also easy for meal prepping or just like making meals at the end of the day because they're already kind of cut and peeled. So you just add them to a stir fry and you're done. Uh, so I really like how convenient they are. Next item I usually always get organic because it's the same price most of the time is cremini mushrooms. Mushrooms are so good. I love adding mushrooms into pasta and stir fries and you can even just like caramelize them with some onions and butter and it's so good. <laughs> So yeah, maybe we'll eat these tonight. And then last but not least, I will always usually have some frozen veggies on hand. This is just like a mixed vegetable blend, especially during the colder months. Uh, frozen veggies are great because sometimes like the fresh stuff can be a little bit more expensive because it's not in season. Uh, but when they went for frozen foods, they actually freeze them usually at their ripest. So tons of nutrients. And I love that I can just kind of throw these into a pasta, into soup. Lots of different options and I usually will always have those on hand. Okay, so my next category are fruits. And for fruits, I usually have the same things in my kitchen at all times, unless I'm doing like a recipe or I just am I'm testing something. Uh, so I got some blueberries because they were on sale two for $5 and that's a good price in Canada. So I picked up two and blueberries are such a good staple because you can add them to cereal, uh, you can add them to oatmeal, um, yogurt and granola parfaits. I just like them and they're lower in sugar so I find I, I can eat a lot of them and it doesn't bother me. Okay, pulling these out of my fruit bowl, I usually always have bananas and apples on hand. Some kind of like, either it's like peaches or nectarines or apples and then bananas are a staple. Like, I, I usually have two bunches of bananas in my kitchen ripening uh, because I use them in oatmeal, I use them in smoothies. I use them on my pancakes. Lots of different ways you can use banana. You can make banana bread for the week. That's a great option to have for, for back to school. Uh, so I'm just gonna put those back over there. I usually try to stock up more in the veggie department and then have fruit on the side. Uh, okay, so for protein, I got a few different options here, whether you're vegetarian, vegan, um, or an omnivore like me. Uh, so I have some eggs here. And for eggs, just look, what, look for what's on sale. Uh, so I just got these uh, regular brown eggs here and they're not organic and free range, um, but to be honest, if you're on a budget uh, at school, like 
it's hard to do. Eggs is one thing unless they're on sale. They are easily like six to seven dollars a case. So I would just say, you know, get what you can afford. Ideally one day I will have a chicken farm and I will have fresh eggs every morning. <laughs> so next up I have some, uh, this one here is just some chicken drumsticks. And this is by the company Blue Goose, uh, which is a better, a little bit of a cleaner option for meat. Most grocery stores will have some kind of line or brand of meat that's a little bit better for you. Maybe uh, no hormones, no uh, pesticides and stuff like that. Um, so this one here was only, it was less than five bucks for uh, four drumsticks. So my next tip is for protein, for animal protein, buy dark meat on the bone. So the chicken wings were cheaper, the drumsticks were cheaper, or if you wanted to buy, like say a chicken breast or thighs, I would just say buy the whole chicken, roast it, and then you can use the bones for broth. You can split up the chicken into different meals, lots of different options. So I also have um, these, this little burrito here. This is by Amy's. I only usually grab these when they're on sale. So I, I believe, I can't remember how much, I think it was $2.99. Uh, this is like a little bit of a splurge for if I get home and I don't have time to make something, I will usually just pop this into the oven with some uh, sweet potato fries and I'll make myself a little treat. Uh, but I really like these. They're a little bit of a healthier kind of grab and go food. And then of course, uh, tuna. Tuna is just like a great option to have in your pantry. You can throw it on a salad. You can uh, make tuna salad in a sandwich. I also have a salmon burger recipe that you could easily swap it for tuna if you wanted. I will link that down below. So then if you're vegan or vegetarian, you know, having beans on hand, I can do the canned beans or you can get dried beans, which are cheaper. And then you just cook them on your stovetop freeze them and then you have them for whenever you need them. Uh, but I have just some garbanzo beans here or chickpeas. Uh, those are a great protein option. You can throw them in, you can make falafels out of them. You can throw them into salads, chili, soups, lots of things, pasta. Uh, and then I have some hummus. I've been loving this one. This is the Fontaine uh, roasted onion hummus. Um, but to be honest, if you were on a real budget and in school, I would just say get some chickpeas, get some tahini, garlic, lemon juice, salt and pepper and make your own hummus. If you guys want me to do a, a video about making hummus, uh, let me know because I usually love to make a batch and then just have it in the fridge and snack on it all week. Like fresh homemade hummus is the best thing ever. And my last protein option here is a big tub of peanut butter because peanut butter is so versatile. You can have it with apples, you can put it in your oatmeal. Uh, I just, I love peanut butter so much. Okay, so lastly, I have a few miscellaneous items here. Um, I got these Freezer Chia Plus waffles from Nature Path. Uh, so these I actually picked up because they were originally $5.99, which was expensive, and they were on sale for $3.99. Uh, so four bucks for a pack of six. I figured I usually, when I eat these, I'll have two at a sit sitting, and then I'll put like peanut butter, uh, sunflower seeds, um, banana, and like really bulk it up. Uh, so I can get three meals out of this. So really it's like like $1.50 a meal. Did I do that math right? I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's not a bad price. So I picked up a bunch and because you put them in the freezer, they'll be in the freezer for when you're running late and you're starving in the morning and you can just grab and go and you'll be happy you bought those. Um, so I also have a big carton of some silk unsweetened coconut. I've been really into coconut milk lately and I love silk because it doesn't have any carrageenan and all that stuff. And then my next tip is to look for coupons. So sometimes grocery stores will have like dollar off coupons like these. Uh, so you can usually get these for a couple bucks off if you find them. Um, but yeah, I really like silk so it worked out that that one was on sale. Okay, so for a couple snack options, I picked up some of these Cliff Bars, and I these were actually on sale. So look for the bars that are on sale. Cliff is good, um, Kind Bars are good. Uh, there's a few different options. RX Bars are really good, I love them, but can't get them in Canada right now, so uh, I went for the Cliff option, and these are great. Uh, and then I have, these are a little bit pricey, I splurged, but they're so good. I've been really into these. These are the Hidden Garden uh, chocolate chip cookies, and they have half a serving of hidden vegetables um, in, in each serving. I don't know, I guess so. But anyways, these are really good. They were on sale for a couple bucks off, so I picked them up. Uh, I think they have like hidden pumpkin in them, so I thought they were very uh, festive for the season. And yeah, these are really tasty and perfect to put into your lunch bag. 
but look for sales. If there's a particular snack that you really like, but it, you know it's a bit pricey, then you know, just keep an eye on it, wait till it goes on sale, and then pick it up when it does, or buy, buy multiple. And then I also have some salsa that I actually picked up at Trader Joe's the other day. Uh, this is the Chipotle salsa one. This is so good, I really love it. Um, Neil Brothers does a good one too. There's one at Costco I really like. I think it's called Garden Fresh. Uh, so those are good options, but salsa is a healthy condiment. It's great with those uh, blue corn chips that I shared with you. Uh, you can also use salsa as like a pasta sauce if you were in a pinch. Lots of different uses for it. Uh, so I usually will always have that on hand. Um, and I think that is about it. That was actually a pretty big uh, back to school grocery haul. So, you know, I'm not saying to buy like every single one of these items. I just want to give you some different options of things that you can eat while you're in school and things to look out for in order to save some money uh, while you're grocery shopping and you're on a tight budget. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys got some fun little tips and tricks and items to pick up at your next grocery store visit. Uh, yeah, I love grocery shopping, which is why I love doing these hauls. Um, but leave me a comment down below letting me know what your number one tip for grocery shopping is. I would love to hear them. And if you aren't already, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button down below. I post on my channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I am there every single day. I post on my Instagram stories, lots of behind the scenes of what I'm doing. I did some behind the scenes at my grocery shopping today. Um, but yeah, follow me there, it's at Your Health Nut. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a fabulous day. Bye guys.